Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Destiny. I'm Death from Above. Today I've got a legendary max video for you on the Finale's Apparel. This is the Iron Banner Legendary Hand Cannon. So what I do for my legendary max videos is I'll look at the gun, talk about the stats, compare it to another notable weapon. That way you get a feel for how it's going to stack up against that gun. Then we will talk about the specific talents I have on mine. We'll go into some PvE and PvP gameplay. I'll give it a, I'll give it a rating on its performance as far as what I felt in those two game types and then I uh, will kind of just talk about the guns talk about other guns so uh, legendary max on the finales peril so let's talk about the finales peril the finales peril reads a personal firearm forged in the fire by the lords of the iron banner so we're gonna compare this one with the venerable fate bringer the venerable vulnerable venerable venerable that I, I, I want to use the word but I'm not sure if that's the right context so I'm, I'm busting out the big words today guys um so we got the Fate Bringer and we got the Finale's Pair. They're very comparable. Uh, Finale's Rate of Fire is 22, which is the same as the Fate Bringer. Impact is 81, same as the Fate Bringer. So, do we have a baby Fate Bringer? Maybe. Uh, range 37, whereas the Fate Bringer is 40. Stability 36, Fate Bringer 32, Reload 36, Fate Bringer 33. Very, very similar stats. Let's look at the secondary stats. Aim Assist is 71 it's 61 on the fate bringer so you got a little bit better aim assist on the finale's peril then you have equip speed of 36 where you have equip speed of 66 on finale's peril so you can get it out quicker recoil direction is exactly the same almost at 95 and 94 and zoom because it's hand cannon is 15 so this is this will feel like a fate bringer especially with some of the perks i have on mine so let's take a look at it i've got the true sight is fast draw and quick draw. I'll leave it on the true site to get the extra little stability because I am bad at hand cannons, guys. Uh, mine has outlaw snapshot, explosive rounds, and rifled barrel along with grenadier. Outlaw, very similar to the Fate Bringer. If I had over here um, Firefly, if I had outlaw and Firefly, this would be a mini Fate Bringer. Just straight up mini Fate Bringer. I really like having snapshot. I used it in PvP and PvE. And Snapshot was a good perk to have. Explosive rounds are cool, though, and Rifle Barrel will give you that extra range, and a lot of things are built into that range stat, so it's good good to have Rifle Barrel. Uh, if I was going back and playing with it again, I'd probably switch it to Rifle Barrel just to see how it performs against uh, playing it against Snapshot to see how it goes. So let's get into some uh, gameplay performance, some PvE and PvP performance. So in PvE, it is a hand cannon. Hand cannons are my least favorite of the primary weapons. I like anything that fires downrange easier than a hand cannon. I don't know I don't know why. Hand cannons have never spoke to me. I never had a good hand cannon that I just couldn't live without. The last word is the closest thing I've come to a hand cannon that feels right in my hands of the controller that goes into the game and plays the man. So and last word is absolutely nothing like any other hand cannon in the game. So I'm not a big hand cannon. So hand cannon guy. So getting that away out getting that out of the way at the beginning, it performed very well. Um, I have a hard time aiming hand cannons so it in my potato aiming fingers it did well i liked it in pve pve you know you get that headshot the target's going to go down it's got enough impact where it's going to smack them and you're going to put them down especially with the outlaw perk you get that headshot you're going to get that quick reload so if you get a headshot just immediately reload and you got a full clip again with lightning speed uh grenadier is always useful i always like having it i never notice it but it's always useful and it's always uh handy so I'm always I'm always happy with a gun that has a grenadier on it. It's not the best, but it's definitely not the worst. Uh, snapshot's good. I would probably switch it out for the rifle barrel just to see what the range does. But in PVE, you're not going to be shooting things from a long distance with your hand cannon. The, the things that you're going to be hitting are going to be hitting pretty close. So I, I liked it. I'll give it a, a C plus in PVE just because I'm not a hand cannon fan. Not a hand cannon fan. Um, is it a fun gun in PvE? Not for me. It may be for you. You may, If you like hand cannons, you'll probably do good with this. Uh, it's, it's a solid gun, solid impact, slow rate of fire, high impact. Um, but let's get to PvP performance. It comes from the Iron Banner, so you want to know how it performs in PvP. Uh, as far as hand cannons go, it performs very well. If you like hand cannons, it'll be top notch for you. If you're like me, and you don't like hand cannons in PvP, you're going to suck with it. Now, anybody uh, that does YouTube for a while can take mediocre gameplay cut out the bad stuff and make themselves look good so that's what i've tried to do here uh you know show the good plays that i make but in pvp i'm not a fan of hand cannons they're too hard for me to stay on target uh you can kind of see that in the in the footage but pvp uh it's a hand cannon it performs just like the fate bringer did so 
If you're, if you're used to the Fate Bringer, this will feel right at home to you. So high impact, low rate of fire, get the headshots, and you're going to put the guy down quick. Uh, but in, in PvP, I'm going to give it the same, the same grade for myself. Now, these are not the general overall grades that I would probably give it for everybody, but I'm going to give it a C plus in PvP. I didn't not a huge fan, but I like the gun. Uh, I, I like the way it looks better than maybe the gun actually performs but i mean like i said it just it could just be user error so there you go guys finale's peril legendary hand can these are my thoughts on it legendary max version so uh, i'm gonna get out of here guys thanks for watching if you uh have a finale's peril what are your perks what are your stats what do you think's good on it and uh what other guns do you want me to take a look at i'm always open to suggestions so that's usually how i pick the next video i'm gonna do i'll let you guys suggest the weapon and i will go and look at it so Leave your comments, leave your thoughts below. What do you think about this gun? And I'm going to get at her. So thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Until next time, I am Death from Above. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Let me know you liked it. And subscribe if you want to see more. Let me know you enjoy my content and you like what I'm doing. You like the noises that I make. So I'm out of here, guys. I will see you later. See you. Bye.